Okay, Brian. Lovely. Andrew, I wanted to talk to you about your um, time with Fernbridge. Um, I understand you've—it's been over a course of many months that you've focused. Yeah, that was correct. It, first, um, they came, and I was ready. First, the police know when they do the investigation. Looks when they're finding me, they must know my date of birth, my birthday, and everything. So why do they come bang? Uh, when I'm going out on my birthday, why do they come on my birthday? Mm -hmm. Bang on my birthday, they come on my door and everything and say, we've come on to, would you like, we need to talk to you about crimes of so, the past. So that would have been May... May yeah, 15th. Two, May 15th, 2013, yeah. So they actually approached you first? You yeah, on my birthday, it. they just came to my door. They said, you take quite hard to find, they said. I said, yeah, I prefer it that way, because I don't want people on. Past. I didn't want people up past, but they're all old now and stuff, so I'm, I got scared. I'm, I'm, I did get scared, but I'm not scared anymore of you now. And it was it was two police officers, was it? Were they from London? Uh, it was, um, yeah, from, 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 from London. From London, they come up from London. Settled himself? No, no, settled in town. Mate. No, um, it was Scottish. And Tamley and um, Nathan. Nathan. Nathan, Nathan Jones. Jones. Okay. Uh, and they approached you first, they said, can we have a word with crimes of the past? To begin with, it was informal discussions at your... At well, it wasn't full discussions, yeah, it was here. Yeah. But they says, the, the, they says, because I'm a carer for Paul, mm -hmm. um, I'm firstly a carer for him, and, you know, like, that's what I do, I yeah. care for him, and yeah. I'm a registered carer and everything for him. And, um, so they didn't know if he, what he knew about my past or not like that, mm -hmm. and so the naturally the they took you to the, the, the no answer. they asked if it were okay with well, them. We went upstairs in the room. Mm -hmm. I said no, it's okay. You got anything to say? You say it to me. I thought have I done something wrong and what have I? And I was questioning myself. But yeah, well, they I haven't done anything wrong. I'm thinking to myself, but then we, but the thing that come on my birthday. They could have come any other time, but your birthday. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it seems a bit of an unusual day to actually spring that. Um, your birthday, it. and it buggered my birthday. I'm sorry, I don't want to swear, but it buggered my birthday up a bit. And, and, then, and, and, so they were, it, and then after that, because I didn't know fully what they wanted, they did tell me a little bit. We didn't go into interviews there and then. Mm -hmm. They had to rearrange, to rearrange so they could use the interview room in Bridington because mm -hmm. they've got a special interview room mm -hmm. where, where uh, children go, used to go, you know, like victims go and stuff yeah. for children and other stuff. It's in, like a safe house type yeah. of thing. And that, was that where most of the interviews took place? That's that where that they all there? took the, the down in Bridington. In Bridington. And that was a, that's a, is that a separate building to the police station? Yeah, it's oh. not in the police station. It's, it's, it's an house. It's, it's house. an old police officer's house that's been right. made into a, in a few you were days. later taken to London, weren't you? Mm -hmm. When they took you on that walk? Could have been. Earl's Cole, you, the officers at Earl's Cole, yeah? Maybe, I don't know. Oh, right. But you had, yeah. Have you been told not to say anything about that? Maybe. Who told you? Uh, uh, Who told you? Tell me. Andy? Who uh, told you? Who told you not to say anything not about it? Because we don't want to make, we don't want Chris to come across as sloshy. Either. No, no, no. So, no, no. Uh, and I know that you can put a story across. So, if you've got something to say, Andy, let's have it now. Uh -huh. All right, all of it. Yeah, please. I was told how to do interviews and stuff, and I've got to do it a certain tell way. It, tell it, tell it. Because it can interfere. Because and now I know the house is bugged. Mm -hmm. I have to. I'm thinking to myself, I better do it there. Well, I mean, all it is is just a, if you were brought to London, which I think you probably were, you were brought to London. That's a straightforward factual yeah. thing. We don't, have to, you know, we don't have to go into it any more than that. Yeah. I mean, or, or, or we just want you to tell the truth. Now, when we make this, if there's something that you're not happy about, then that's a different matter. But when you, when, when you talk to us, or we'll ask questions, you just tell us the truth. Like, what was your question that he had trouble asking? Uh, the, the question was whether or not he was um, taken down to London to, to uh, I've been to London. I've been to London, yeah. Yeah. But that's I can't. But was you taken to London? <laughs> oh, you <laughs> was, weren't you, by the police? Possibly, yeah. Right. So we'll take that as a yes. Um, okay. 
You see the fear on the man? Yeah, it's a master, I mean, the amount of hours that you, you've obviously spent with the police, uh, quite a lot. And they, was it a pretty regular thing? Would they take you down? Would they take you down to no, every week, or was it? Bridlington, it was done monthly over. Every I've, month. Yeah, I've done over seventy hours of interviews with them yeah. on different things, and I've still got it. interviews to do. They were still doing. They were doing it Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, weren't they? <coughs> what? <coughs> they were doing it three days. They do it three days in a block. Yeah. In a block. Yeah. Yeah. So I like, come one week, do it three days, and then they might come another week, or they might come another week. Or they might come a month, sometimes first it was every week. Yeah. No, first it was yeah, first it was every week. First month, then second month it was half of a week. Yeah. And then it went to like once a once a. Uh, um, then it well, went like a month. A bit, a bit less. Yeah, and um, this has got more interviews to get them because, of, but they haven't yet been for any more interviews. Mm -hmm. Could, how many hours have you done so far in this? 70. Uh, it was over 65, but now it's 70. Yeah. And when was the first time that you noticed that there were other officers there that you've not seen in past interviews? In terms of, I'm talking about the members of the security services, MI5 and special. That only started, things started on and getting a bit tight on the collar of your like, yeah. because I want to do the right thing. I want to say he. The truth come out and I see these people but just in you know, people done to me but not just to me, to other people and stuff and it's it's really, really, really hard because because you don't know it start with when you come out of the care system you don't trust authority. Mm -hmm. You've been taught that from square one. So I, I try to trust the authority. But the authority aren't playing ball, they are they're just using me as a pawn, like and just a thing to try to, and and that's not my doing. That's mm -hmm. not. In, it's just I'm a victim when I'm giving them inf evidence, and and they're just turning it around and just. Yeah. Why do you think they're doing that, Andy? I think that sometimes I think they might be trying to set me up. Sometimes I think, but it's only think thoughts in my mind. Why are they, Why are they trying to set you up? In what What manner are they trying to set you up? Don't know. Can I put something to you? Are they, you know, like when you were um, going through all this from such an early age, you know, from when you go back to Sydney Cook, etc., etc. Yeah. Um, you must have had a lot of threats against you. From all the time. All the time. You're so told not to tell people. You're told not to. Not to say anything. Say things. It's just put into you and. The family, when you haven't got a family and somebody becomes your family and... Oh. And that's what happened, is that, you, you, you know what Stockholm Syndrome is? No. Stockholm Syndrome is when the victim believes that the perpetrators have become best mate or family, like you just said. That's you, why it's hard, you know, it's hard. Andy, you've got to remember that we're here because we believe you. Well, We're not here because we don't believe that, you. It's not the fact that you believe me. It's how many people have come since I... I was one of the first people to... I can understand people not first believing me because I was one of the first people to come. Yeah. Well, this is your chance. But there's been loads and loads of people come forward saying the same stuff. Why do you think the police are so keen on me? They'd arrest me if I was lying by now. Yeah. They'd have arrested me by now if I was... Surely they would have... But I, I, I think the point, the point is that really I think what James is saying is we, we understand that we understand Settle and his team. It's not doing, Settle; it's the people. It's people who put him. Hang on. Yeah, I was just about to say that Settle's playing a straight bat. But as you know, for want of a better word, dark forces exist around him. Mm. And if you remember, we had that conversation where, for your own sake. I said to you, you needed to get from Settle who these people were. Still could you tell you stuff like that. If, you're, if he knows your lines have been recorded. Yeah. If he exactly. knows your lines have been recorded. But he, he did confirm they were. He's recording there, it's not affecting it. 
Yeah, they come. It's mother on Firmbridge, yeah, you know, they have Firmbridge. Yeah. Firm, it's not Firmbridge, it does bugging. Exactly. And he also. It's a special, it was a special <laughs> force of special branch, but he didn't say there was. But, it, but they did tell, when we were in the hotel, Nathan, Nathan let slipped out that there was a special branch. Yeah. And, but he did, he wouldn't tell you the unit, but he did say, he did say they were Dutch, special branch. He oh, no, not, that was early, good. that was. That's, Am that's uh, to do with Amsterdam. To do with that's Amsterdam. Totally and they're part thing. of the. Yeah, but what I'm saying, they're still not Firmbridge. They're still security. And they were there with. That's a different with thing altogether. Yeah, we'll yeah. talk much about yeah, that. I know, I appreciate that's that, fine. but we're just, we just. We just want, need to get it recorded. You know, we just want the spooks bit, the fact that the spooks are involved. And they, they were they were on a couple. They, they are they're involved all they're all involved all around. And they've been, and they, they've and been the, but, but the thing is, they've got the nice they do the nice guy the nasty guy. Good cop bad cop. Yeah, and 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 they and when they get nasty, mm -hmm. they don't just like they'd like if that were your keys they just go. You're not doing it our way and they go like that and they just come like within a second to your door mm -hmm. and you don't know where they come out come from and they can come any time. You know, like, and then they came at four o'clock in the morning. To come but they, they also made you sign documents, didn't they? I've signed documents, yeah, I have signed documents. And what was that? Is that the Official Secrets Act? One of them was, would have been the Secrets Official Act, yeah. Right. Did I mean, you recognise it as the Official Secrets Act? The problem is, some of the forms that I've signed, because I'm dyslexic, and a bit, I know I am dyslexic now, but I, I'm still getting over things. Because then I've got people of, I've got some good people now. Like thanks to Chris and thanks to Bill, mm -hmm. some people, some people like are helping me and starting to things like mm -hmm. I've got a bit of do donation and to buy me a pair of headphones. Mm -hmm. So and uh, so you could blog. To wear, so I could blog. Right. Let me let me just stop this for a minute, right? And let me just put something to you, right? I'm going to ask you a, a, a question on behalf of James, right? Now listen. You went to see Sidney Cook last year. Yes or no? You're not you're not telling me, I'm asking you, and they said if I ask, you're allowed to answer a question. Possibly. No, but the police told you, when they told you how to deal with an interview, they schooled you in how to do an interview, yeah? Yeah. Right. Now we've come a long way here, Andy, and we are right by you and we've got your back. <laughs> now I know that you went to the Isle of Wight a year ago to see Sidney Cook in Parkhurst. No. Oh. What, was the, what was the reason for the trip Did to you? the Isle of Wight? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh come just, on, just, just an holiday. Andy, come on, bruv, because we might as well fuck off now if this is going to go like this, seriously. Mm. So what did you say again? Last year, you visited Sydney Cook in Parkhurst on the Isle of Wight for three and a half hours. Yes or no? I'm not going to ask you about the conversation. Did you or did you not? Yeah. Yeah. Now, was that Firmbridge that told you to go and visit him? Go and visit him? I don't know. Who told me to visit him, but it was. Why did you go and visit Who him? Who took you down? Hang on, Chris. Who told you, right? You don't just get in to see Sydney Cook. You don't, if I wanted to go and see Sydney Cook, no chance. Anyone in here, no chance. You just said yes, that you went to see That's Sydney Cook. You can't talk about it because if you talk about that, then it's going to, the guy will get walk from, in the walking free. He's due out next year, you have an end of this year or next year. He won't walk free, all right? He will not walk free. All I want to know is, did Fernbridge send you to see Sydney Cook? Not firm, which it came from higher. Okay, who? From the special branch? Probably. No, I don't know because they haven't told they me. Wouldn't have they they me wouldn't have told me. I can't answer that question. It's but, not that but, but, but you can answer that you went to see Sydney Cook just, last I, year. I've answered it, haven't I? So. Do it one more time for me because I love you. <laughs> yeah. Did you go and see Sydney yeah. Cook last year? Yeah. yeah. And you was assisted in that by higher powers. Yeah. But how, but long, how long was it for? How long did you speak to him for? 15 minutes, 20 minutes? No, no, longer than that. Three and a half hours? Three and a half hours because they wanted to find out some stuff. What did they want us to find out? 
He's going to talk to him anyway before he puts anything up. Yeah. Yeah. No. I am. And if if I go at any, I was told if I go at anything that is that is it, it wasn't the place who did it. It was special branch. So it'll be denied. So, so special so branch. Now it'll be denied. So was it special branch? I don't know. But it, MI5. I don't know. But it was one of them. They were working with Dutch. Secret, if they were working with the Dutch, so it was secret services? Possibly, but it's, it's, but well, it wasn't the police. There's a case going on in Holland in, in, in the moment, and it's part of that. It was, they wanted to, it was the people who invest, came for that as part of, you know, there's an investigation going on in, in mm -hmm. Holland at the moment, and but they were part of that, that's all I can really say. It's this the Dutch special branch. That was the Dutch side, side, yeah, that's all yeah. I can and say. This is this, this, the, and the reason why you went, there, went to go and see um, Sydney Cook is because... Because um, uh, Sydney Cook... Well, you come in then, I will It's on my blog, I put on my blog, but by, that, that's... Fairground said and, and said he cooked part of sort of all the same thing. He's part of all of it, isn't he? Mm. He was making stuff movies in Amsterdam, that's what yeah. the Dutch police. Did you, did you see Sidney Cook at a party with Jimmy Savile? Yeah, I did. Was Prince Andrew there? No comment. That's done. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love it. I'm not being... <laughs> Give me that one, London. <laughs> Phil, I'm not being bad. Can James do his thing before you? Do but it's all it I know what I'm doing. I know. All right, bro. And I think everyone's. I, every, I think. Oh, listen, I'm talking to Andrew on this one, Chris. Okay. I'm and I think that. everyone here, we got the. We, you just help. We, you just help when we need you, bro. All can right. I do a quick no, stop. Andrew, can I just emphasise again? All we want to do is to get the truth. You have the truth. Now we're not going to go and break the official secrets act. Trust me. There is no terrorism involved here or any of that. These are about dirty fuckers that were killing children, torturing children, in the most horrific manner on a regular basis, Andy. Now, I've spoke to you for quite a while, and I came up here because you said to me, I just want to get it out and tell the truth. So you spit it out, bruv, and clean yourself. Go ahead. Just before we do, because this is on low again, so what I'm going to have to do is, can I try it with that? Um, yeah, mate, yeah, 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 do what you've got to do, mate. Because, um, if we do, let it do can, that. can it come? Can it come to sort of back, or will it, will it have to be right in front of you? Mate, I'll be popping. Actually, no, leave it, leave it. We'll go again in a minute when he's when he sat down and he's ready. All right. Now, listen to me. This man, he's not going to get you into trouble. I'm not going to get you into trouble. There's this thing. Because, that, hang on, hang on. Because some of this that we're getting on this visit may come out later on when it's all over. So at least we've got it. I'll give you an illusion one. <laughs> Alright, bro? Andy. Do what you gotta do. Andy. Leave him alone. This is coming no, leave him alone. alone. Leave him alone. This is where normal people. Mick, leave him alone. Alright? You talk to this man, all you gotta do, bro, is tell the truth. Look at me, look in my eyes. You trust me, alright? You trust me? I trust you. You're one of us. Right. <laughs> okay. Do what you gotta do. I'll do what I gotta do. You do what you gotta do. You see? I'll get bang us up in the same fucking cell. Alright? We'll get on well together. Don't worry about it. Is that, uh, so I'll, stop I'll get it out there for you, and we will protect you as much as we can. There's no one going to fucking bang you up. Trust me. Why? How are they going to bang you up? If they bang you up, Andy, what are they going to say? Why are they going to bang you up? What are they going to say? They're going to have us outside the fucking court. Well, why, Everyone. Why do they believe the rapists all the time and the bad people and the, never the good people? Because they do to the good people what they've done to you. And if they're listening now, and I know they are, fuck ya. That's what I'll say to them. It made me feel like I want to commit suicide, but I can't do that. Because well, you ain't going to commit suicide, are you? I'm not suicide. Because you've got Paulie. Paulie. Yeah. And you've got a little team here around you, and we've got our networks. Well, that's how they'll make me feel at the time, like... Of course they will, because they're fucking up and they're covering it up, Andy. Now, this man, we've all come a long way, but that's not why you've got to do the thing here. It's because you're 45 years of age. Remember when we spoke? And I said to you, I'll deal with children, dead and alive. When I'm on my fucking deathbed, I will go peacefully because of what I've done. But you're talking about, there's a mother, there's a, you're talking about 
there is a, there's somewhere, there's somebody's mother and everything that doesn't know what uh, happened to her son. And that I know. Her. Well, let's tell them. What about Myra Hindley? Where's the, the kid that they never found? The kids they never found? Oh, the, I think they found this kid. Yeah. Right. So let's go again. James? Yeah. James, James is trying to get something in the Sunday for you. Yeah. But he's just looking for a background. Give him a couple of little juicy snips. Done. Then we will work with you. Because I will stay up here a fucking week with so you. If I you. Yeah. Look, you know, you know those folks. I know those folks. That were there. They were not Fernbridge, were they? No, they were bloody, you know, don't be frightened of them. Yeah. You know, that, that's what they rely on, frightening people. And for an extension lead then, well. We'll just get extension lead. Yeah, just to get the same on the fucking side if you want it on call. That's a good thing to do with the glass of water. So, someone get into a glass of water. Who wants it? Me, just me, please. Right, stop recording me. In the interviews you've had with Fernbridge, just to confirm, there has been people from the security services sitting in on them. Um, from there has been a, there was some some of the, the a couple of interviews had a live link to London. Right. So I don't know who's been from Bridlington. From Bridlington, so I don't know who's, who's been at the end of that live link. I couldn't tell you because they won't tell me. I didn't know. I just thought it would make give my other side of the story to the police. Right. But it started getting silly. It's like. <laughs> Like when I started really contacting Chris, because I, the, the police only gave me. I tell you, all the police gave me is what was on that form, you know, police form there. That's all they gave me. They come on my birthday, mm -hmm. and they only gave me that. You know, there's two numbers. So when you were having these interviews now, the live link to London. So yeah, was that via was that audio or was that visual as well? Visual. There was two cameras. There was a camera doing the recording with the in-room court equipment, yeah. and then and a camera that was went to a wire to a laptop. Mm -hmm. Skype type thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so I don't know the sound. If it went to a laptop, in I don't know. Yeah, it's called Skype, then. Yeah. So there was Skype, but I thought as well that there were. Um, no, they send it through a bit more of that. They've got special cable. Police have special cables that they send them underground because it was laptop went there and it was connected to the cable. And it was a telephone. It was a different type it of cable. It wasn't wireless. It wasn't wireless. No, it wasn't no. just a power cable. No, it wasn't a power cable. They plug it into a thing and it and it says because um, they use it. They use it. We you know when they do interviews in court. Mm. They use it to do interview, interview witnesses, live interviews, witnesses in court, and they've got a special cable, a special line, probably a telephone line, but they've got it, they plug into a special, what's it, and it says live link, okay. it just says live link, and then they plug into the live link. Okay, but there was also, was there not um, actual members of the security services sitting in on your interview? Mm, never, in Bridget, never in Bridget, but in London, or uh, other parts? Only when they came down here, when they came down here to put stuff in the house and stuff like that, and because I knew they were doing that because I didn't have a choice really. Okay. Well, I thought they were they um there were two officers from the Fernbridge, but there were also two officers from the special branch. Did the could have been? I wouldn't know. I just assumed that the different officers at different times. Right. There has been a time when there was four officers, yeah, yeah. in interviews. And but I can't them. tell. I can't tell you. I assume they're from Fernbridge. Uh -huh. Um, so when did you know that the security services were involved in this? The moment when they were going to put... I didn't know until the moment they were going to put... When they turned up one morning, like at um, 8 in the morning when journalists were coming mm -hmm. from a town, you know, and it was on down here, so they cancelled it. They mm -hmm. were coming down to see me, and we virtually got off the train, and all when I'd phoned him up. Mm -hmm. And I said, You can't come because they was taking us out of the house around that time, looking through the house and that. And they didn't want, if he'd come to the house, I was thinking, Come and come to the house because he'd have stumbled on and he'd seen them there. And he'd have stumbled himself on a nice little story, I think. Mm. But fortunately, he turned back. You know? yeah. I wanted him to come, but I can't say it. You can't. They're there, like you, t you, Leah, and I'm talking on phone, and they're telling me, writing on pieces of paper, telling me. Tell you to say, yeah. Andrew, did you have sex with Leon Britton? Yeah. No. Well done. <laughs> no. 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 No
Did you have sex with Lil Graham? Yeah. <laughs> Did you have sex with um, Kenneth Clark? Yeah, definitely. Yeah? Right. Uh, who's the other one? Did you have sex with John Prescott? He's been at parties and I've... I've, 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 I've yeah. Uh, did you I'm have sex sure. with John Prescott? Not, sh no, <laughs> not sure. Right, but you did with Kenneth Clark. Yeah. And you Leon did Britain. with Leon Britton. Yeah. So the sensitivity of these names, being that they were all top level MPs and they were in uh, the cabinet at the time. I've been to a big job party and, and these were all in London. Bit, <laughs> there was a somewhere around and there's a film of London of, of a party at well, I'm told there's a film. Well, you know. That's what. That's the film that Fernbridge keep referring to when they talk to you. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah. Possibly. Have they got that film. I haven't seen the film they've got, but they've got a, they've got films and they've got interviews. They've got tape interviews. They've got films. I haven't seen them built up. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> but listen. Uh, uh, yeah, let me let me ask one more uh, uh, question. Did you ever film footage? Or were you forced to film footage of a child being killed? Mm. Only when they were on uh, keeping myself. Yeah. Fair enough. We... No, but so you was under duress. What was the threat against you? I was in. I was trapped in that thing. I was being abused myself. Yeah. And 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 I was part of the abuse. What was happening there and then? And because the guy who was holding the camera wanted to have sex with the kid and wanted to keep the thing, then I got to get the camera to hold it for him. Why had he done it? Well, he did it. Who was it? <laughs> Sydney Cook? Yeah, well, Sydney Cook was there, yeah. Sydney Cook was there, but... But who passed you the camera to so he could go in at six? That wasn't Cook. That wasn't Cook was the one who, who was that? Were, uh, I don't know his name, he has a moustache, little moustache. But Sidney Cook was there? I, I do know his name, it's gone out. Tom? Then, possibly. Oh, uh, Tom, right. Have you seen more than one child killed? I've seen, I've seen... Yeah. How many children have you seen killed? If you've got to remember that, I haven't, I, I'm, I'm not a... No, no one's blaming you. But no, yeah, but this isn't for you, it's the people that they made you. To make, to make it think that it's... it's if they, they make, make it so... They make it so thin to make you... you believe frighten. Yeah, yeah, frighten. The, 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 thing, the, the, the thing is... What did they threaten you with? Did they say you could go to prison over it? Listen, right, let me let me put it let me let, let me put it like this. Bill, let me put hang on. Let, Bill, me, put, let me put it like this. Bill, you're not listening. We're actually fucking getting it here. You're not listening. I'm fucking getting it here. Let me do my job. Not, not, not listening. listening. So he said to you. Let Bill. me do my. Job. Someone passed you the camera and Sidney Cook was there. Yeah. Right. That's what you said. Right. I don't now, know. Now let me just say let, so these much. numbers. You told me when to stop. Did you see? You told me when to stop. One child killed, two children killed, three children, four. The the thing is, if if I can just, I didn't see the killings because the people like me go out the room. The killings were always done after the people, so there were no witnesses. Were these but, they, but, they, but, they, but, they, but the but the but the but the but the but the but that time what you just said the but about the but the carriage when I went back in the room, the child was dead. And there's other times when Charles was dead, but and there's times I would have for death and got scared. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so um, what you would do, you would leave the room. You, yeah, because you, you just we look. One thing we understand, Andrew, right, is that you was under severe threat. We know you were threatened with guns. You was threatened with death yourself. We know about the story when Sydney Cook nearly killed you and you had to be resuscitated, right? So now. When you are attacked like that as a child, and you were sent in that boarding school at the age of eight, yeah? Yeah, from probably in there. special school, then boarding school. Right, special school, then boarding school, and from all that time, then they schooled you. And now they're saying to you that you could be the criminal. They make you feel special. You could end up easy being one of those, but I did. 
Ej, det er sådan, at bare hjælp, det er nok så vildt, at jeg kun siger, at jeg er kære, at det er en kære indsats. Ej, 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 det er en kære indsats. Snuff movies. They make the two, the three grades of snuff movies in the industry. There's like grade A, grade B, and grade grade A, grade B, and then grade C. Yeah. And then grade C is when somebody pays, some rich, really rich person pays an awful lot of money for a kid's life. What sort of money are you talking about, Emma? And you'll never see them films because them films. I I won't know fully how much but you're in your like anything twenty thirty thousand sometimes. Yeah, lots of money. We heard back in the eighties that that that's the sort of money they were paying. Where the bottom end they might be only in the thousand five hundred to thousand pounds. Yeah, and then in the middle end it'd be like three thousand to five thousand. But so let me just jump back. So you had been at parties where Sidney Cook yeah but the was people, with Jimmy Savile and. Prince Andrew was there. Jim, was Jimmy Savile there? Savile was there, yeah. Right. What about Prince Andrew? You make me Go on, go on. Hang on. Mark Dean. Well, yeah, Andy, you're doing well, bro. Trust uh, me, you're doing Stop. Well. Listen, Andy. Andy. One when you go through a turnstile, then, and it goes to one, you turn from the, go through turnstile like this way. Garages are over there with all cars in, you know, Queen's cars. It's the garages. Royal Muse, mate. And then, the Royal Muse. And then there's like annexes there uh, where staff live in, you know, like bed, with little bedrooms and stuff like that. And, yeah. big, and there's a great big massive room where they all mix. The servants' um, quarters. Yeah, and that's where the party was. That's right. Who's there? Cameras off. Who's there? Don't fully know every name. Give me some. Come on, light me up. <laughs> Jimmy Savile, was he there? He was, he there. He was there, yeah. Savile was there. Um, Leon Britton. Leon Britton was there. Um, Maxwell was there. From Robert the, Maxwell? Yeah, from, he moved, jumped off boat. Did that Maxwell get Yeah, Robert yeah. Maxwell. He was there. Mm -hmm. And how many kids were there? Not that many kids. It was like, um, they were only in the boat. There were about four girls and there were about five or six lads. How old were Andrew? About... How about twelve. Did Sidney Cook survive those? I don't know. But no, they were supplied uh, through Amsterdam. They were supplied through... From, there was a, the kit that I, we were booked, for, we were ordered off the order list. Because the order list and... So there was a list of you all? With your photos, and they could just pick what kids they wanted? Oh, it was standard practice. So it was like, what was it, like a magazine? Or? Bill, GB10. Yeah, what's that? GB10, that's the, uh, if you like, the catalogue that, that, that's uh, custom seized off Tripper. It was called GB10. It was a list of all boys under the age of 14 that were available for sale. So it was a catalogue? Catalogue. Yeah, for, for people pay for ice bids when you pay. Well, so like, if I, if I want to buy, say I want to buy a new drill, I look at the catalogue and it's all different drills. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah. And, I, and it's all different drills. So I, would try, so I choose whatever drill I want. And they had that catalogue with kids. <laughs> Who printed that? I can't tell you, Daniel printed it. I can't tell you. Chris, can you help on this one? Who printed that catalogue? Uh, that that catalogue was. I don't know if you know Operation Orchid. Yeah. Operation Orchid was not set up to catch Sydney Cook. It was set up in response to what was called the babysitting ring. This was a group of people around babies. London, including mm -hmm. Leslie Bailey. Babies. Yeah. Proper sex with babies. Proper yeah. babies. That's, uh, that's, how, that's, how, how you pay babies? a lot of money for that. How old people? The babies? Months old. Year old. old. Usually about a year up. About a year old. Right, now. And that, sorry Bill, they, they, oh. this babysitting ring produced Russell Tricker of Toff's Travel, who used to smoke, traffic the yeah, kids yeah, to yeah, Amsterdam, yeah. had a <coughs> video catalogue of all the children who were with that babysitting ring being looked after that were available <coughs> for sale. Crazy. That's the catalogue. That's crazy. It's true. It's James Roth. No, 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 it's real. <coughs> 
sorry, sorry, sorry. Do you know what? I've got to fucking. I've got to go outside for a minute, man. I can't be fucking. This is a lot to hear, mate. I've just got to go and get rid of there for a minute. It's true. It was you me, you, bruv. You know that, didn't you? You got me fags. I, I don't smoke. Yeah. Yeah. Guess I'm gonna have a fag. Let's have a fag, mate. I'm gonna get them. Yeah. Can I just what I ended? Yeah. Let me just turn. Let me make sure the cameras are powered off. I'm not. When you talk about it, you're wasting your fucking battery. And these, me, just literally trying to move it. Yeah. Hang on, Andy. All we want is something for the fucking express today. I'll do my interview with you. Just give him something. Andrew, he needs you to confirm what I've told him. Phil, that's just how that is. Don't move that on, leave on. Yeah. If you do that, that's all he wants. Oh, fucking leave that in. Leave that, leave that as well. But, but, if the place is bugged, then I've got to... I get it. I get it in the neck. Not you. Come. Because Come. I said it, not you. Okay. You confirmed what I said. No. The world we'll needs no. to get up and out of it. Remember? Yeah. He said that was all right. It's not a fact, bro. Oh, he I'm said that it was, it was all right. You Chris, can we sleep you to the bottom of a cigarette? Leave yeah. You yeah. yeah. So, yeah, he, from where you are is good. Oh, oh, he, 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 he said it was all right for you to confirm oh, it if oh. somebody else said it. Yeah, but I've got to say no first time. Well, you said no. <laughs> Do you want to sit there? No, I'm all right. Back. I'll stand up. It's all right. Yes, I said no first time. Well, you said no. Now, I've mentioned the name. I've brought yeah. up the security service. I'm the one that's told James that. All, all you need to do is confirm it. You know, they just blame me for fucking up those... They, uh, they no, can't. No, they, they well, that, one's, uh, that, one's, uh, that one's all right. It's going. If you sit there, and if you, if you do talk to him, make sure you see him, so I've got the shot lined up. It's in the same place, isn't it? Yeah. 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 That's right, OK. Right. Yeah, that's I'm fine, mate. Quick fan, mate. Yeah. So, that's what I'm saying to you. I'm, you're doing what you've been told to do. You're, conv you're not. You're not offering the information. Well, I've just fucked the operation up. No. Else. What operation? Well, there must be something going on. They've got to all this trouble of bugging the police. That's MI5. That's nothing to do with the police. You know, Fernbridge. The only operation they've got established looking at this is Fernbridge. Fernbridge's brief was the own guest house. Sydney Cook is done and dusted because that's what they set up Operation Orchid for. And that was over 20 years ago, so what operation? You're not fucking anything up, mate. Honestly, you're not. You're doing as you've been told to do. I'm mentioning the names. They said it was all right, you could confirm it. That's yeah. all you have to I'm do. Not, I don't want to upset anybody. You're not upsetting anybody. No, you're not, mate. But it's all right, I'll take the flag. I, I, that's why I kept butting in. I, I've told him the security said, all you've done is confirm it, and that's what they said you could do. Yeah? I don't know how they've done that, though, have I? All we need to, to tell him is, yes, the security services were present at a couple of interviews you well, did. Well, there were those present security services. They were there when parties were at parties, they were... Right, but it, um, then James, James, all James needs to hear is you to confirm what I've told him, that the security services were present at a couple of interviews at least that Firmbridge did with you. Yes or no? Yeah, but... Yes. But I didn't know, they never no. put themselves as... Uh, no, of course not, but they there's never four do. of them and it's normally two of them, yeah. Yeah, they never do. Settle and they dress differently. What what Settle exactly told you when he said he said he couldn't confirm that, didn't he? But he did confirm they were not his officers. Yeah. Right. So they just was in London when they, when, they, when, when they were interviews down there. And so yeah, but I've been to London, yeah, but so the office they were they were let's confirm they were um, special branch slash MI five officers sitting in on interviews. Probably we quite a lot of interviews, yeah. Uh, quite a lot of interviews. At different times, but... And you didn't know who they were to begin with, it was only when you asked uh, Paul Settle that the... Uh, no, because Paul Settle did actually... He didn't know who they he, were? No, he knows who they are, but he wouldn't tell me. He no. just said he's one of the, just some of our lads. Some of our lads. Some of our lads from upstairs. Okay. That's how it... But I never put two and two together. But he did tell you that the, the, the other two that you were concerned about were Dutch. Special branch. Well, they're special type. branch from yeah. I did TikTok to with special branch from Dutch, from and Amsterdam. And that angle was because there was tra people, young kids like yourself, trafficked out from London to Amsterdam. But to there's um, you've got to understand it's not a one-way thing. 
We, no, we had Dutch kids and other stuff come over here and there with investigating and this being so sort of Dutch kids. Both ways. So it was a two way thing. And, and, that, and they wanted to find out if I could get them to speak. To and see also kids from Eastern Europe too, yeah. being trafficked via Berlin. Yeah. They just wanted me to speak to see if I could, if I could mm. try to get out of him because he wouldn't speak to him. He wouldn't speak to him, but he says, but when he, when he says my name, mm. he wanted to speak to me. But I told him, it wasn't like you think. Oh, it was like this. And there was nobody in that room apart from a screw guard and he went in and out of that room. So this was Roger Cook, yeah? I had Roger Cook, I had Sydney Cook. Yeah. <coughs> okay. And this and this was and, and there was there, there was snopes there. Because it was because the um, Nathan and the other guy weren't even around. They went off for a couple of hours to do all the stuff. Mm-hmm. Well um took place so <laughs> mm. and, yeah. and the and the reason why they were there and the reason why they were involved MI5 special branch, Dutch special branch, was because of the sensitivity of the names that you were telling the police who were Names, um, they've gone more daft. They've gone daft since they got... I was fine when they got the, the documents from NAPEC. Yeah. I was fine up to then. Mm-hmm. But everything was recorded when I was working with, with Jill Policely in the papers. Because Maxwell had everything called to protect himself. Mm-hmm. The police have got cops of all those recordings now from the paper. From Eve Pollard. Some, well, yeah, priest in Spanish. So it has it's gone from Will Pollard, yeah. yeah um, they must have gone from Eve Pollard. But they said they've got the tapes and stuff now, a load of stuff now mm-hmm. and stuff. Mm-hmm. And as soon as they got those tapes, because I was making phone calls to selected MPs, I was making phone of the day, I was making phone calls to us, and I had all the numbers, I had the diaries, I had everything, and when I came to NAPEC, mm-hmm. I had a box like that, I'm joking, a little box about that high, like, well, only like that, one of them. Yeah, and I had everything, that. because Chris came down, because they sent the lad down, mm-hmm. and Chris came down, so the lad says, I don't know what to bring, he says to Chris, I don't know what to, yeah, I don't know what to get. Chris, and soon as he explained the things to Chris, says, I'm on my way down. Chris got in his car and he came down that evening and everything. Yeah, and Chris, Chris was there. Yeah, yeah. Chris was there. 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 And if you want, you don't have to, you can just say yes or no, just so I know. Okay. Now, Operation Firmbridge approached you on your birthday last May. Yeah. That's when they first came to you. That's when they first came to you. They, you didn't go to them, they came to you. I never went to them. Um, there was a, they followed a series of interviews with Firmbridge that happened over a series of months, uh, usually in Bridlington. Uh, in, a, in a police house, which the police yeah, used. There's only a Bridgeton. couple of times they've been out of Bridlington, really. Okay. And these few times that you've been out of Bridlington, we're in London. Yeah, and um, yeah, London, yeah. yeah. London and the Isle of Wight. And the yeah. Isle of Wight. Mm. And then when you were in London, the Isle of Wight, there were two officers there that you didn't recognise, um, and you asked who they were later on, and, and what you were told were that they were, they were from upstairs. You just they're just upstairs, just to, yeah. to, well, they don't know what they mean, but upstairs. just from upstairs. And you were later told that there were spooks, there were spies, or there were intelligence. I overheard it, well, things, because it was talking in the room and that, and I says, I says, um, well, they're, no, they're from upstairs, but upstairs are secret services. All right. And they said, when we're having a dinner. Right. You know, like, when we keep, they stop the interviews and you go for your lunch and, yeah. and stuff. And the sort of... It just one of those times when you're talking and they told me, but they didn't openly tell me on phones or didn't openly tell me, so... No. Okay. Um, and the reason why the, the security services were involved is because of the sensitivity of the names that you were telling to the telling the I think it's... the don't want... I've got a big... I had a, I've got a list of things I can't go on there, which is in my head. Mm-hmm. I don't want to go there, and I've really showed them I wouldn't want to go there. Mm-hmm. They couldn't be touched anywhere because they're too high. Mm-hmm. You can't touch some pe- high people in this country. Even if you want, you try to do a report on it and try to do that, yeah. I tell you it'll be stopped before it even gets it published by people above you. 
Because they have to tell the your solicitors and lawyers will tell that cat. Yeah, but, but one of the people that you were told, okay. one of the people you told to the police was Leon Brewer, that's the name of the police. Yeah, yeah. He'd been abusing your parties in London. Uh, and there were other senior MPs as well. Uh, there's an MP called. called there's a, there's civil, a bad, the civil full smith, yeah. Yeah. Um, Raymond runs a few pubs for him, but mm -hmm. who I lived with and everything, and we've done a few pubs for him, like. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, get, getting back, I, I, I want to get back to Leon Brent because I know um, from what the information settled came to me for, there's one surefire way of identifying Leon Britain about anything else. Do you want to tell James how, what that is? His birthmark. His birthmark. And where was his birthmark? On his... Um, I don't want to stand up because I've got a shot. No, no, just, just, just sort of on the thigh, just... Uh, on the thigh. Right, now I'm just asking you if you will tell James the story about you, the young girl that you told me at Max Clifford's apartment near Broadcasting House. Could you just tell that story, Andy? Hmm. 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 I could tell the story, but... Well, it's only Max Clifford. We won't put something... being clear, do not they? Huh? It's just being clear. No, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you tell... I mean, uh, He's got seven victims. So yeah, I've, I've got to put this through lawyers and stuff. So if you tell me, it will just be for now background information purposes. Because it I won't be able to print it. It was more girls, so with you're right. You yeah, met Clifford. But tell, remember the story you told me when you went to his apartment and he gave you a cigarette and a drink. They gave a cigarette, and drink. There was you could have some drugs if you wanted there. And Stop. Was that just you, Clifford, and the girl? Me there, Clifford, and the girl. But I went with uh, with uh, somebody. I went as a gift. I was not a gift, I was a, I went there as a... Stud. Stud, I don't know if you call it. <laughs> I was the stud, you were the man. Yeah, yeah. I would. But you had to have sex with him. We had the threesome. Yeah. Okay. You had a threesome with Max Clifford. Mm. And his name was mentioned to police in his interviews. By you. Yeah. Um, Possibly. I can't remember all the names that I've mentioned. But there was, a, si there was a number of... Seven hours, yeah. And this was the reason why they had the security services sitting on at least two of your interviews. That you think. <laughs> but if More. You put it like that. More. No, if you put it that, that probably so, yeah. Yeah. I didn't think, because I didn't know at the time, but now when you tell how you're putting it, yeah. it makes a bit of sense. <laughs> that they were sitting in. <laughs> um, right. Did the Dutch... Police officers ask you anything? Very little. Uh, they just wanted to find out. They really wanted to find out because they wanted to find out if any of their kids was involved in. Right. They were more interested in that. That's why on my blog I put about the Dutch police a bit. You know, they're not bothered. They're not mm. bothered about us. They didn't come from me. Mm. Did they? Did they mention the Rolodex study by any chance? The Dutch police. Uh, yeah, it's part of that, I think. Part of the road, yeah, it's part of that still there. Oh. But I told you they was doing it, and there was one there at first place. Yeah. I can't find one. Nobody knows about it. I've had some people sniff them out. Right. He does what you say, but it was right. there. What, what, <laughs> what were the members of the special branch asking you? Were they more interested in Leon? They Britain? never asked questions. They just stood. They just, they sat, just there sat there. there they didn't never ask questions. Honestly, they never asked me questions. Tell us about Edwina Curry. Can you tell that story that you told me about Edwina Curry? <laughs> Come on, suck on this. <laughs> Tell the story. <laughs> Tell the story, eh? Come on, Ed. <clears throat> End job, Major. Yeah. Right. Edwina Curry. Mm, that was at a party as well. Where was the party? Can you remember? In London. Right. What happened? Put yourself back, put your mind back to that party. Get the picture in your head and tell us who was there. First, tell us who was there first. I'm not full of names. Was Edwina Curry there? She was, she was definitely there, yeah. Right, was John Major there? Mm, yeah, there was quite a few MPs there. Right, quite a few MPs at this party. Mm -hmm. Now just yeah. tell us what happened between you See, and Edwina Curry. See, there's so many parties and so many different things. I'm yeah. just trying to get the right one in my... Just do that one. Tell us about Edwina Curry. What did she do? What, what, what did she do? I had sex with her because she made me lick a puppet. 
Edwina Curry, what happened at this party? She was up, she's um she, we didn't go to party, people stay in their own groups, so you go to things and that and different rooms? No, she would edge on it was like an edged on thing and the thing like they edge each other on, you know, like what, they have what, a in joke. a crowd, in a crowd. Yeah, but when I say a crowd, it, few, few people. Was it was big, this big, big, so at the cabinet office, Downing Street one? It could have been there, but I think it was at the nightclub because it. Oh, a nightclub. Right. right. It was so some of the fellows. You had sex with Edwina Curry. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't put my dick in it, if that's what you mean. Well, we can't see what you mean. So, you made me a, a, a grateful for smallness. She, she made you lick her pussy. Yeah. And she did it. Tell me, tell me. It's done to do it. Yeah. It's the only thing, and the people that Jim. It was like. So, if we in a car, we've got you, there was a little crowd, and she's all having a laugh. And then she pushed her. Uh, she's pushing me head on and everything. She's all you, she, she pushed her head down onto her pussy. When she puts her head down there, did she say anything? She did, I can't remember what she said. I can't remember. So long ago, I can't remember all the words yeah. she said. So, so you had, had oral sex with her? Is that what you call oral sex if you didn't come out yet? Yeah. yeah. How was she down there? Was she clean? <laughs> awful, didn't like it. it. Didn't like it, why? Because it's well, stunk. Stunk, yeah. Right, so right, you're not very clean. Who else was at the party? Was John Major at that party? He went, he'd go earlier. He, we did go at a party, John Major would go earlier. What did John Major like, boys or girls? I've never had sex with John. I don't think I've ever had sex. I could have. Because there were a lot of drugs involved, weren't there? What drugs were they? You could have speed, you could have coke. Those yes. are the main two drugs, mm -hmm. but they also put stuff in our um, drinks and stuff. Spiked you? Spiked us, yeah. And mm. Everything that we, we, they will never touch our drinks if we've got drinks, we'd have his own drinks and stuff. Was Jimmy Savile at that party with Edwina Curry? Yeah, he was there. We've got quite a few BBC there, quite a lot of BBC there. So he was there? Well, there, yeah, there a lot of BBC And there. that was a night that you had to... Yeah, it was the BBC the was in the BBC lot. <clears throat> Well, the BBC lot were doing it there because the MPs, a couple of the, quite a few MPs were there, but they were just shaking the head, like sort of shaking their head and joking about it and that. They're shaking the head and sort of mm -hmm. putting the hands out, saying, "No, no." But they were still there. A couple of the parties, yeah, exactly. so. because you know what it is. It's like a lot, what, what what I need, me personally, people to understand is that all these parties. You see, when people are talking about this child abuse, they're thinking like it was all violent, violent. It wasn't all violent like Sidney Cook used to perpetrate or or Jimmy Savile. It was more in the respect of fun. So you felt like adults because they were giving you, letting you smoke, you could have cigarettes, you could have drink, and you could have sex with people like Edwin the Curry or whatever. Don't forget the... So you must the, have felt quite powerful. Don't yourself. forget they the get you into string fellows and stuff like that. They can get you into top places and stuff. And, so, and, and string fellows had no problem. If, if I'd gone to a door, a little kid, was no, one, as a kid, if I'd gone to a door, the string fellows, they'd tell me to bugger off. Yeah. I'm underage or something. Yeah. But I go in with somebody who's got some authority, they don't even ask a question, they just wave them in. Who? Who? Tell, tell me some of the people you went to string fellas with. Give me one. Give, give James one, you can give me lots. Being in with Jimmy Savile, I've been in with. You went in with Jimmy Savile? I've been in with um, quite a few. Um, I went in with Clifford. Clifford, and I went in. Did, did you go into string fellas with Clifford? I've been in with Clifford, yeah. How old was you? 15. Mm. You went to all the best places. <laughs> mm. I would have fucking died to go to string fellas. You know what I mean? Something about string fellas. Well, it was quite. Um, with dance floor comes a power mm. floor, and it was all new there back then. It was all. Can I can I tell you how I see it? I see it as a mind control. You understand? Now I'm a parent, and I'm a grandparent. Right now, see my little my grandkid. If I gave him, if I said chocolate, he'd eat it. Chocolate, he'd eat, he'd eat till he was sick. And when he gets a bit older, if I said have a drink, he'd have a drink. He'd do 
Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So these people were not just coming across as friends, they put you in a full sense of security where you believed that you were adults. Well, when they have the parties in Stringfellows, they don't do it when the public's there. It's like a lot, because there used to be laws them days that you had to close at a certain time, even nightclubs had to close at a certain time. Yeah. And, and then so they'd have afters. And they'd have afters, but that's where the party would be in the top yeah. VIP suite, like at the top. And above the VIP suite is like a flat tap area with office. It was done, it wasn't used as a flat really, it was had rooms in it and stuff with beds in down mm. one side and then did you ever see Mick Jagger at any of these parties boy George Mick Jagger I've seen uh, I've seen a lot of a lot of mm. I've seen a lot of um, Cliff Richards were there there's been no no I didn't go to that one sorry what you're on about I've seen him at parties um, Elton John were there though Elton John do you know do you know what vicarious liability is vicarious liability right is supposing um, I had a sex party for children, right, and they were there, and someone was not taking part in that sex or anything, but they were there, and they never disclosed that information to the police, that makes them guilty of vicarious liability, and it's a serious charge. Well, they haven't charged, they haven't charged, um, they haven't charged, um, who, uh, not, they haven't charged Cliff, no, they haven't charged Cliff Richards who says he's been in these places to no. but he didn't touch them. No. It all been in old guest house. I said, oh, you, 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 oh, I didn't know that was going on. It's, Did it's, you ever go to the old guest house? I could have done, I don't know. But you can't remember because so much has I've been so over to so many different shady places in um, London, it's unbelievable. So when you was okay. when you when you was going to all these parties, Andy, you was eating on drink and drugs. So there was a lot of stuff that you couldn't remember. Because of it, is that it? You wake up and you go to a party, and I think you could wake up in somebody's bed day after, and you don't know how you got there mm. because of the stuff that give you. You skip, you start getting drunker and drunker, and you just thought it was a drink because you drink daft. Mm -hmm. Don't care what anybody says when you're a young kid and it's there free. You drink daft, especially when you're out of care. Can I ask you, Andy, when you put these names, when you gave the officers these names, people <coughs> like uh, Edwina Curry, people like. Uh, uh, Leon Britton, what was the reaction of the officers, the police officers who were interviewing you? The eyes didn't go up, they just says not one. Some of the names it says not again. Not again? Who is that? Was that the, Leon Britton? Yeah, who did they say Leon Britton? Yeah. What about Edwina Curry? Yeah. She, the, the eyes, his, his face, you could tell his face expressions. Nathan is good at not giving things away, mm -hmm. but he gives it away with his face, so you can look at his face when you're in, if you like that, and look at your face. <laughs> I'm saying something, I say something, yeah. his face up, when he says it's serious, serious to look, and then if you say something, his face goes up, you know, you can tell when he's getting excited when you tell him something. Yeah. Did, did, you, did he do that on Edwina Curry? Did he did he get that on, yeah, quite a lot of You're people, quite, few quite. people. Mm. Did you ask to see these videos that you are in with uh, Lil? Can't see anything like that, the one, no. poison, the one. If I see, <clears throat> if I ask to see those now, mm. I had a police officer, I had a thing, mm. and I'm looking at a kid, have sex so I can be arrested, that's what I was told, so that's where the car. Oh, for fuck's sake, do you know what I mean? <laughs> so did, you, you know these, um, did, at, at, these, at these parties, at, the, at, at these parties, right, the, the people that were there, were they all involved in the sex or were some of them like just voyeuristic and because you told me a story like Max Clifford was a bit of a voyeur he wanted yeah, to watch you have sex with yeah, that, that girl some people just like to watch and some people took photos if they could for the so they were taking pictures there as well yeah, and so pictures, most places photos are taken uh, virtually everywhere I mean, even in guest houses are taken seems to be an in thing in guest houses having video cameras now you're going back when video cameras well, you don't have to be really rich to have video cameras yeah, no, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. these yeah. are like you go in the scruffiest bed and breakfast sort of place guest house type of place and sometimes you don't even have a guest house you know broken windows with a bit of tape on and everything and soon as you go in the devil Big massive camera there. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like the old guest desk. Yeah. So, yeah. Just, just saying, sorry, was Peter Stringfellow aware of everything that was going on in his club? He likes little girls. Oh, oh, so he was, was part of that group He was part of that group. How, how, how long did the girls? little girls he like? Never age. touched a boy, didn't jinx Stringfellow, to my knowledge. What age did he like his girls? Twelve up. Oh, fuck. Well, where's the ransom? 
she was being she I've seen her in parties at BBC. Do you know the big round building at BBC? Yeah. But what the sex parties? The I couldn't say her husband. No, not her, her husband. Was he there? Her husband went to it. He's, he's, he's a Mason. Mason. He's, her he's dead now, isn't he? Mm. Yeah. There were allegations against him. Um, and, and what uh, about her brother? Did her brother go? She got a brother? I don't know. I want no mm. brother. I saw him mm. possibly. What's her husband do, if you don't mind asking? I don't know what job he did. No, but when he went to the parties, was he part of the, for the children? Like He's bisexual. Yeah. He likes boys and girls. Quite a lot of them do. Yeah. That's why they're both there. Yeah. Over Christmas, um, the police, you had a police officer looking after you, didn't you? Like on the, you didn't realise it, but you... We were bit, well, I did know, I did realise it, I did know, because I signed, me, we signed documents to say it were, or we didn't know we'd signed the document. We did. They come one day, mm -hmm. with some doc you forgot, we've, we've got some documents for you to, to sign, is it okay? Mm -hmm. We'll go through them. They, came, they went through the first couple of documents. Right. But then the documents kept coming and kept coming. And you just and then, signed them. And then they were coming very really quick and some documents were in shorthand. And mm -hmm. I, I can't read shorthand. To me it was like shorthand. And yeah. But the, the, the officer but said that he'd been assigned by Fernbridge to look after you, make sure you're all right. And he'd mentioned that there were uh, MI5 officers working up. No, in it was um, Nathan and uh, this, the Scottish guy that was with me. Temley. Temley. There was with me all the, we went to the hotel, they were with me, not surfaces, mm -hmm. not yeah. the, but they were there, they kept coming, you kept seeing them and stuff. But they said that the, 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 the members of the security services were staying in a hotel that We were staying at the same hotel for, for three days. What hotel was that? Uh, it was Castle, uh, what's it called Chris? I think it's called Castle Hotel. Castle, Castle, Hill. Hill. Castle Hill Hotel. Castle Hill Hotel. Is it in Hull? Yeah, it's got swimming pool. Yeah. It's, a, it's, yeah. a, it's a quite a swanky one, isn't it? Posh price. Do you need it? No, but posh price is it? Thirty-five pounds for a bowl of soup. So we own in, we own in being, we own in about probably we're just about half, just over halfway in interviews, mm -hmm. and I've done seventy hours because it, you got to realise there was a lot of from the day when I was eight years old mm -hmm. to leaving school, well not just leaving school to when I was twenty-one. Mm -hmm. Well, I have been told that we don't want you to really go on about between leaving school and 21 because of the new laws. So, they're not concentrating on that now. I, I was quite interested the question he asked you about whether Fernbridge ever gave you an explanation as to why they want, because Cook was part of Operation Orchid, which is a done and dusted, finished police operation. It's not been reopened. No, because it's a different investigation. Yeah, exactly. So did he give this you an explanation as to why what was clearly covered by Operation Orchid, done and dusted, was in Fernbridge, which was about something totally different? Did they indicate, I mean, somewhere there must be a link between the two for Fernbridge. I wouldn't know, Chris. And he didn't tell you? No, he didn't tell me. So they just basically said they wanted you to go in and talk to Sydney Cook? Well, no, they didn't say go and talk to him. We'd, he'd, only, he'd only talk, he says he'd like to talk to you. We think it'd be good if you, can, if you could go and talk to him. Yeah. And if you talk to him, can you try to get this out of him, that out of him? They gave me a list of things that I, I tried to get out of him, but I couldn't put in. So they must have already spoken to him. Him well, to yeah, his name's come up in investigations and they've gone there and won't talk. Right, for the Thurbridge investigation this would be. So then they've asked you to ask specific questions of Cook. Can you remember what they were? It was a piece of paper I read off I can't, I know it sounds silly but I can't remember. Yeah. There's, 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 there's the lads' names, kids' names, some of them were kids' names, there were loads of names there, like, of kids. And did, a great big list of kids' names and stuff. Did the name Vishnu Marat come out? Rings a bell, it could. Possibly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. A bell rings a bell, but I can't remember the first name. Can you remember what Edwina Curry was wearing that night? Did she have any knickers on? 
Yeah, she had red knickers on, like red neck. Red? <laughs> red, the bracy tight knickers, because she took them off and swung them around and said, and went like that, was like coming, like a bit like a bloody prost, not prostitute, like a stripper. Oh, I don't know. So. Well, I don't know, was she giving it all that? Like, hey. Yeah, well, she was drunk out, she was totally drunk out, out of her head. Was she taking any drugs, any cocaine or anything? Keep a surprise, they'll just take cocaine. Surprise us. Yeah. Hang on, hang on everyone. Surprise us. Who well, takes? Speaking on the, nearly all the musicians that I knew and stuff like that. And what about the politicians? What about the politicians? A couple of politicians, not well, all the politicians. I'll tell you something, a, a Labour Party conference, Andy, it was about um, 12 years ago, they tested every toilet on every venue. They didn't find one toilet clean, they found cocaine on every one. Well, when they went to and 90% of banknotes have cocaine on back, them. Back in the day when Thatcher was in power, yeah. when I went to a party, when I, was at, I went to a party in Thatcher, and the, the Labour Party went to a party in in uh, number 10, but not in 10 itself, because there's a big massive, they're all connected together, you go in, and it's massive, because you think it's, you look on TV, you think it's just one house, don't you? So, but as you, you, know, when you go inside, it's like three, four, it's nearly all block. Mm. <laughs> when, you went in, when, you went into, when you went in there, you go in the front door. And then there's a passage. Um, what colour was it? What colour were the walls? Can you remember? They were different then, there was like a, there was like a brown, there was, there was wallpaper then, a lot of wallpaper, and they had like brown type frow. I don't know if they were frows or what on, but they'd like. It was. Like your yeah, necks. One was it called best flop wallpaper? <laughs> was, it, was it like, you see I your necks? Andy, oh, yeah. see the necks behind you, was it like that busy? Like a busy. Busy like that, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Andy, can you remember the, 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 the MPs that, that did take cocaine? Yeah. That you could think of? Mm. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, but I can't remember, isn't it? His name's just gone out of my head. Today, isn't it? He's in, still in, but he's still in government today, and he's, he's, he's virtually bald now, but he was only a boy. Hague. Hey. William Hague. Hey. And William he was just a kid that back a boy, back, a young boy, back, well, not a young boy, he was a teenage, you know, probably your age. William Hank, is that? Yeah, probably was around your age then, yeah, 2030. William Hank, was it yeah, William Hank? Yeah. Can we get a picture of William Hank? Anyone got one, get one on their phone or something? I've got, I got one, man. We've been with several. Show him. And he's sniffing the... It was William Hank. No, it's on the drive. Gingerish, bald, sort of, horseshoe sort of haircut, sort of... But, but, but I liked Coke, because... I'll tell you why you like Coke, because you get the right Coke. I mean the top quality stuff, I don't mean there's a lot of shy about I'm not a cokehead anymore. <laughs> no, 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 no. But I how I got hooked on coke back then and the saying how it was then is the top quality stuff is was quite powerful. Mm. Especially when people made love to you all out. It used to It's a sex drive, isn't it? It puts you in a different thing. Everything sounds it's like magnified brass there. In do you know what I mean, don't you? Everything's it's a different world, isn't it? And you're out of it, so and you can do anything.